I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. In the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. Most people think they're disqualified from becoming mega successful. They think their past disqualifies them. Their mistakes, their seven. You don't know, man, I've had a divorce. You don't know I failed in this other business. You don't know in the last down real estate market, I lost it all. You don't know what I'm addicted to. You don't know my mistakes. You don't know my weaknesses. You don't know what I'm not good at. You don't know I've always been average and ordinary. I've always been invisible. And so that disqualifies me from being successful. So what you do regularly is you disqualify yourself. And what I'm saying to you, what if the truth was that your greatest mistakes are the very things that do qualify you? What if that's the case? What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. If you can survive temporary pain, on the other side of temporary pain, you will meet another version of you. Which, by the way, all pain is temporary. The only thing permanent is our soul. Even our bodies are temporary. So all pain, no matter what it is, it is temporary. And if you can survive it, on the other side of it, you will meet personality traits, emotions, thoughts, people, circumstances, versions of you that you didn't know existed before. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. That know if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I'm up here not because I'm super impressive, because I'm not. Every time I wanted to quit this business, I didn't make a decision to not quit the rest of my life. I made a decision not to quit for one more day. One more day just don't quit. One more day hang on. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call, one extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one mores. That's the separator. You are one decision away from changing your life. You're one new meeting, one new relationship, one new contact, one new action, one new decision away from shifting your life from where it is right now to a totally different place. There's something you've been hesitating on. There's a contact you need to make. There's a job you need to quit. I don't know what it is, but I know there's a decision that you need to make to take you to the next level because decisions shape our destiny when they're backed up by some massive ass action. But you can't take the action if you don't decide. I made up in my mind, I will not go through this pain and not get a reward for it. I will not quit. I will not surrender. I will outlast every trial and every tribulation that comes in my life. You meet a family that is wealthy. Somewhere back in their lineage, generationally, they weren't. And then something happens. The one shows up. In every family, there's the one. And that one changes that family forever. In my family, I'm the one. We don't think like we used to think. I'm the one. I'm the one who made the calls late at night. I'm the one who drove hours and hours for people to say no. I'm the one who dealt with the heat. I'm the one who typed all the emails. I'm the one who returned all the messages. I'm the one that dealt with all the stress and the strife and the cancellations and the back talking and the people who didn't keep their word to me and the difficult times. I'm the one who lost sleep at night. I'm the one who got up early. I'm the one who carried the emotional burden of winning just like you are. You're the one. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this. I'm the one.
I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. It's possible. I can live my dream. It's necessary. I work on myself. It's me. I've got to make it happen. In a matter of one moment, one decision, one day, one account, one client, one meeting, your life can change in a moment. And if you don't know that, you will miss them when they show up. But what if you believe that and you live in anticipation of finding them? Now your reticular activating sees things it wasn't seeing before, hears things it wasn't hearing before, feels things it didn't feel before, and it tries to prove you right. If you put your head down, if you get focused, if you stop worrying about what everybody thinks, if you start pursuing that person you were capable of, if you start competing with the efforts you make every single day, your life changes.